very much. Uh, I think mine is just to add on to uh, what my colleagues have said, that uh, we are asking the UDA administration to work for Kenyans and to stop all these shenanigans they're involved in. The other day I saw the president donating food to Somalia, and yet our own Kenyans are dying of hunger. That tells you clearly how this government is confused, and I think we don't have a government. What we have is we have a one-man show, who is controlling every ministry, who is directing everything, and is doing that through roadside declaration. So the era of roadside declaration has come back. This era ended with, during Kanu time. But now, Kanu somehow has been revived through UDA, and they are making roadside declaration. Yes. We are saying that we will continue piling pressure on them, yes. and we will not accept the change of the Constitution to increase the term limit for the president. And no wonder Ruto is a friend of Museveni. He is now reading from Museveni's power book, because this is how it started in Uganda. One MP comes up and says, then some other people talk about it, and the next thing you hear that the, the, the constitution has been changed. No wonder he's moving in regions buying people, buying MPs, so that he can push this amendment through parliamentary initiative. We are telling him, we are watching you, and we will not allow you to amend the constitution. Thank you very much. You know, in Uganda,